Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This feels so weird, even pronouncing these words. It feels so weird just saying that my channel, what the fuck, my channel? Come on, sis. So I'm a rookie at this, but bear with me. I think we're gonna have a great time together. I've decided to record a QA. and a uh, On my Instagram, we, uh, a long time ago, honestly, like I told you guys, I asked you guys if you were interested in me starting a YouTube channel because some of you have requested me to do that. So, and I think like, it feels awkward just saying, but I think because I'm kind of like used to cameras, I like to take pictures myself. And so, you know, I thought, why not? Like, I think I would be pretty good at like vlogs and stuff, and I like to edit. But, however, my first video, we guys came to the conclusion that it's gonna be a QA so you can get to know me better. And like, when I've done that, when I've done like um, question things on Instagram you always have a bunch of questions um, and like I don't I, I don't answer all of them because you know my story is gonna be way too long and people are not gonna be bothered to even look at all of them so I just thought let's make a Q&A for you guys and so we can get to know each other better I am snacking on something so if you hear like in the background, it's me eating chips. <sighs> and bear with me, guys. Like I'm actually nervous. I'm looking at myself. I'm, I'm not even looking into the lens. I'm terrible at this. God damn it! A lot of you have asked your questions in Swedish, but since this channel is gonna be in English, I thought I just um, insert the question and then I'll um, translate it in English. Oh, first question. What is your ethnicity? Okay, so my dad is Swedish, 100% Swedish, and my mom is from Angola. So that makes me mixed. But I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, and lived here my whole life. So nothing interesting. And I've never been to Angola. I've never been to Angola. I just heard so many positive things, and I need to go. I need to visit. Okay, first question. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The last thing you ate and drank. Well, I haven't even touched the chips yet. So the last thing I ate was actually like chicken nuggets from McDonald's. And they, ooh, girl, they have, they have a new, um, what is it called? McFlurry. It's McFlurry. I've eaten that ice cream like two times this week and it's Monday. Come on. What do you do to remain confident? I, I don't... Mm. <laughs> I don't even think that I can say that I am 100% confident. You know I'm a bad bitch, all of that stuff. Because I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm absolutely not. I have days where I just like look at myself in the mirror and I just feel like disgusted of what I'm looking at. And you know, I am also a person that needs confirmation. Even if I feel that I look good and I feel good in myself and in what I'm wearing and whatever, I need, I ask my boyfriend at least 20 times if I look good. And he can tell me over and over and over again and I still feel a little bit like, are you sure? I'm not gonna say that I am 100% confident, but I do try to not let myself, when I have those days, I try to not let myself dig deeper into that feeling because I am a pro at overthinking. I overthink everything. I overthink what I eat, what I wear. No, not what I eat, that's a big fucking lie. <laughs> but I overthink everything else, everything else in life. Everything that doesn't need to be over... 
over overthought of over no no i don't know when we're sad we do things that make us even more sad i even have a spotify playlist that's called make yourself feel worse like why 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 do we do that to ourselves even though i am confident in my body and i like what i see we we always have something we'd like to change i've gained a lot of weight lately um and it's something that is really heavy on me i don't fit into some of the clothes that i used to fit into and stuff so that is something that can be hard at times like because i break down totally when i have an idea of an outfit for example i have an idea like i need i want i want to put this together i want to look like this i want to wear this i try to put it on because i know i got it in my closet because i i wore that outfit let's say one year ago i put that on and i cannot even you know let's say it's a dress i cannot even pull it down anymore because my hips are too big things like that can make me feel like ugh. i think i've had so many so much experience with that um in the last like two years so i don't let myself sink into that dark place anymore i just say oh bitch hips too big like, not hips too big hips big you look good thick thighs save lives you know i think like that instead like you have to switch your mindset basically Mm. How tall are you? I am 5'7 I think Next question is Have you ever been in Angola? And no, I have not I've heard a lot of stories about Angola But no, I've never been there Who is my best friend? Since I was little Let's say I was About 12, 30, 13 years old I've never really liked label labeling friends. I've always been friends with a group of people and people in that group of friends had their best friend in the group, if that makes sense. I've never been the best friend. When I got older, I didn't like the term best friend for that reason. I've always said like my closest friends, but I have never like pointed at someone like and gave them a label like that that is my best friend i know who i always turn to who i feel the most comfortable with and to me that person or these people are my family like i don't i don't see them as my friends anymore or my best friend or best friends i don't even say best friends i just say these are my group of closest friends i don't like to give one of them like like they're better or more important than anyone else if that makes that's just my opinion next uh, when do you know that you are in love huh that's a good question honestly i um i don't know fuck no but i'm in love i really am in love i think every love is different you know um but there's always those like typical signs that you are in love that you know that you're in love like you can't stop thinking about them you like sit sit waiting for their text you answer back fast quickly and always have like some thought about them in your mind all the time regarding everything you're doing you know what I ask me that question on the time i think i need to like marinate the question a little and take my time to answer it i think the person that wrote this wrote this a bit quickly because i don't i okay do you have old friends you miss i think hanging out with bordats i don't know what bordats means but do you have old friends you miss hanging out with the answer is no to me like if you're friends, um, you're gonna stay friends. If it's a real friend, you're gonna stay friends. Um, so no, I don't miss any of my old friends, not even a little. If we're not friends today, there's a reason for it. 
Honestly, I can count all of my friends in one hand, I, I believe. Maybe one hand and one finger on the other hand. I don't know, something like that. But those people that I have around me today are people that I actually care about and people that I want in my life for years and years and years ahead. So no, not at all. No, mm -mm. nope. Who is the funniest person you know? I know that the person that asked me this question want me to say that she is my funniest friend. And then I have another friend that wrote me, not even asking me, but just said, I am your funniest friend, right? So now I feel like, I don't think any of you <laughs> are, the, are my funniest friend. Ah, but, Cause honestly, I think I'm the funniest friend. <laughs> Where do you buy your clothes from? Where do you get your inspo styling outfits? Pretty little thing. It's cheap. They're always like staying updated, which I love. I love Topshop, Urban Outfitters, Pretty Little Thing, Misguided. Yeah. And where I get my inspiration from, everyone I follow, even my friends, everyone I follow on Instagram, I, I get inspiration from. It doesn't have to be a certain fashion blogger or someone on Instagram, like a famous person. I get fashion inspiration on the street, everywhere I go, seeing other people. Um, and I like to mix, like if I was rich, sis, you would not see me wearing this. I would wear heels every day. I would wear the most extravagant pieces you could even think of. You know, you do what you can. This is what I can afford at the moment. So you do, you know. How did you become a model? I feel like this question is <coughs> I'll end it in another video for now. Last question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully, I will be doing something that I love. Hopefully, I'm making a lot of money. I have two kids or three. I'm married, living my best life. I'm not living in Stockholm. No, hell no. Working with something that I love. Hopefully social media and modeling to be able to live off of that. Mm, and uh, yeah, pretty much. But I'm going to end this video now. I feel so awkward with what I know that I'm about to say. Cause I know that I'm about to ask you to subscribe, <laughs> like my video, do what you do best. But I feel so awkward, but let's just get, on, get it over with, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my Q&A, my first YouTube video. It feels so strange looking into this lens and I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm like, I'm not used to this just yet. Please comment down below if you like the video um, and let me know what you want me to do next. I have some ideas myself, but I would love to know what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching.